Michigan Education Savings Program and the Fox 17 Morning Mix have been highlighting a local educator every month with our Class Act campaign. A campaign designed to draw attention to some of the most important people in our lives. The teachers educating our kids. And today, we honor the Class Act winner for April, Jennifer Gwynnum. She teaches art at Spring Lake Public Schools and is this month's winning teacher. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. Everyone thinks you're awesome. <laughs> That's a good feeling, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. Why did you decide? Let's just start right there. You're an art teacher. Was that always the passion? Were you going to teach art when you were younger? You know, my path to the classroom is not traditional. Mm -hmm. I actually went to school to be a graphic designer. Okay. So I was a designer for a number of years. Early on, I got married, got a job. My husband's job took us to Japan for a year. Okay. And in that time, I got a job at an international school as a teacher's assistant. So that was a magical time. I was in a kindergarten classroom with kids from all over the world. And I fell in love with teaching there and then went back came back to Grand Valley and got my master's in education. Perfect. So you yeah. caught the bug overseas, yep. brought it back here, and we're like, I really want to do this. How long have you been teaching? I think it's been about 18 years now. 18 years. Yeah. Now, you say that with a little bit of a, <laughs> of a breath. I've seen a lot. Because, yeah, yeah. You've, you've seen some stuff, mm -hmm. right, over those 18 years. What has kept you in, I, I know the simple answer are, are the students, right? Sure. The, the kids keep you there. Mm -hmm. Beyond the, the students, uh, what, what keeps you coming back to being a teacher? Well, I'm very passionate about being a community member that's very integral and in making change. Sure. Uh, so I think there's a lot of work to be done and everybody has gifts. My gifts, you know, happen to be in building relationships, being in the classroom, in the arts. So it fits for me to be in my community trying to make it better yeah. that way. There's a lot of creative minds, uh, you know, that, that you touch on a daily basis. So. so the occupation uh, as a whole of yeah. teaching, yeah. for me personally, uh, you mm -hmm. know I have a passion for this, mm -hmm. is, is under respected in, in mm. my opinion. What is mm -hmm. the, what does the occupation need to bring more people into teaching? Mm. That's a good question. <laughs> it's, it's I, mean, a, we, I think we could start with your salary. I mean, we would love to be able to get all teachers uh, sure. more, more pay, but from, from us, from parents, from administration, sure. what is it that, you, that teachers need? Sure, I think support would be great, all the way from legislative to support to you know, parent and family support, which we have a lot of where I teach, a lot of support. Um, I would say time is a big one, mm -hmm. time for teachers to meet with each other. Our days are fast and furious. We are on the go, pedal down all the way, all day. And to have time to meet with each other and solve problems would be great. Mm -hmm. Time to study the subjects that we teach a little bit more and be on the cutting edge. Yeah. So, so time, time and support are mm -hmm. two key factors. I think so. Well, you've been giving your time and your support for 18 years to the kids all, uh, all around West Michigan. And we have one person who's very familiar with that. Susan Nagin is a parent. Hello, Susan. Hello. How are you? She's Jennifer, a parent. Jennifer, I'm so proud of you and so excited for you, and no one deserves it more. Talk a little bit about your experience with uh, Jennifer and, and who you had taught by her. Yeah, I have two sons that went to Spring Lake High School. One uh, was a cross-country runner, and Jennifer is not only a teacher, but she's been a cross-country coach and impacted not only my son, but every single student on the team. She took that team to the state championships and just was an incredible leader and an incre incredible positive motivator for every single one of those kids. Oh, wow. I, we, you yeah. didn't tell us that you also ran uh, as oh. well. So multi-talented. And what is that, that, yeah. first, that first picture, Susan? I saw something called the Chalkboard Project. Yeah, so, my, so both of my kids were involved with Jennifer's amazing program called the Chalkboard Project. This was her brilliant brainstorm, and she's worked with kids all over the state, all over the, all over the country, actually, to bring the Chalkboard Project to life. It's a project where kids get to really explore the idea of the words that they say and how they affect and impact the people who receive those words. It's a brilliant, brilliant project that is from her heart and that was amazing to be able to have my kids um, participate with. And uh, chalkboardproject.com, people should go check it out. Oh, Susan, thank you uh, so much for that. Yeah. If, if there's my anything you'd wanna say before we let you go to Jennifer, Now's yeah. your opportunity. 
Yeah, well, I could just say thank you. You know, my younger son, Sam, is a photographer, an artist, and the guidance that he got from you as an art student and just a person was fantastic. So we couldn't have been more happy to have you um, as part of our lives and our kids' lives. That's wonderful. <laughs> they're the Love best. You. Thank yeah. you, Susan. Appreciate the time this morning. It's yeah. got to feel good to hear that. Not only did you affect the young men's lives, but one of them became a professional photographer. Mm -hmm. It's right in your wheelhouse of what you mm -hmm. were teaching him. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's really the <laughs> sweet spot of this career. Absolutely. Those are the treasures that you keep. Why sure. should someone, let, let's end here. Why, why should someone do what you do? Why, why should someone come into this industry and, and consider becoming a teacher? Wow. I have a daughter who's thinking about that right uh -huh. now, so I'm watching her make that decision. I think because the world needs you. I mean, we really need to pour into these young kids right now. Times are changing, and we need people to, to help as we grow. Because the world needs you. I mean, that's, that's pretty, uh, pretty good reason yeah. to maybe consider becoming a teacher. And if you know of a remarkable educator like Jennifer, who deserves some recognition and say, hey, listen, teaching, really cool profession. You might want to look into this. Well, nominate them as a class act. We're going to highlight, highlight an exceptional educator that makes a difference right here in West Michigan every month. All you have to do is log on to fox17mornimix.com now and nominate your favorite teacher, past or present, and then watch our show right here at the end of the month to see these inspiring educators' stories and their impact on our community. A quick thank you again to our segment sponsor, Michigan Education Savings Program, for helping us make this happen. We'll be right back.